So it's been about a week since I've uploaded last. I had a couple of vlogs ready, but I was really busy making my big decision that you guys know about. And my big decision has been made. And as you guys can tell by these type of trees, you probably know where I'm at. Oh, and I'm sick, so you probably really know where I'm at. I drove through all of California, all through Arizona, all through New Mexico, all through Texas, all through Oklahoma, up through Missouri, through Illinois, and here to Indianapolis, Indiana, my hometown, where I'm from. I'm back at home, driving through all those climates though, it got me a little congestion. I'm a little sick. I've been sick the last two days. I've been home for two days. I'm gonna try to keep it straight to the point and not edit too much, but yeah, it was a hard decision to make. You know, it was a win-win either way, but it also feels like it's a lose-lose. You know, I'm here. I feel like my content's gonna take a hit a little bit, but I'm also gonna be happier and I can get back to who I was prior to me moving out there. You know, when I was in California, honestly, you know, I worked at Best Buy, I transferred. I had structure to my life, but as soon as I quit, I went full self-employment. Um, things started to go downhill for me, you know, not financially, just mentally. I, I was, you know, going to bed at four or five o'clock in the morning, waking up at two, three o'clock in the afternoon. You know, I was doing things that I wasn't raised to do. I was doing things that I knew better. I was doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. You know, I'm going to be hundred percent transparent with you guys, you know, I'm going to, which means I'm going to be real with you guys. I was smoking weed. I was drinking alcohol. I was doing things that I knew that it wasn't me. I was in a pretty dark place mentally. I felt alone. I really did. You know, I didn't like the way I felt. You know, I gained 25 pounds in, in like five months, you know, that I lived there. I just, it just wasn't me. It really wasn't me. So now that I'm home around my family, it felt good. And I'll show you a little clip of how that went when I see my mom and see my dog who went crazy. But uh, here's how that played out. And also it was a 29 hour drive and I only slept two hours out of the entire trip. So I looked ugly. Uh, I was starting to get sick. I didn't like life at that point. So uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's cold as shit. All right, y'all. So I just parked my car in the garage. I knocked over a trash can, but I'm tired, but I hear my dog barking. So this neighborhood is nice, man. It's quiet. So let's do it. My dog going crazy. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> So yeah, it was great to be back. It still feels great to be back. It feels cold to be back, to be honest. But um, yeah, it's crazy because winter hit right when I arrived. Like it was pretty warm all winter. And then right when I get here, weather gets crazy. I'm just like a bad luck. Like, yeah. But to be honest with you guys, I already feel so much better mentally. I haven't eaten fast food in three days, so I'm sure you guys are happy about that one. Um, I'm excited to start vlogging again. Give me a couple days because I'm sick, and um, I just, you know, I just want to get over this sickness. I don't want to be outside. I don't want to be all that stuff. I have my friends I haven't met yet. You know, my dad, I haven't seen my dad yet. So, you know, a lot of you guys are going to think I moved because of financial problems or anything like that. No. That's not the case whatsoever. But I mean, moving here, I'm saving a lot of money. But I've proven that I could live out there by myself. I've proven that I could have done it. No matter how mentally messed up I was, I still could have lived out there. I still could have been grinding on YouTube. I still could have been uploading consistently because you guys know I was. You know, I just felt like it was time for me to come home. I felt like it was time to just regroup mentally and regroup physically, get back into the gym, do things like that, save a lot more money, uh, get my dental done, you know, get a new laptop, get a new camera, um, just regroup and then head back out there you know i'm gonna move back out there um and i will do that so by me living here it's a lot easier for me to travel back to california whenever i want to opposed to me living out there and being able to travel to visit my family and to just be at home you know whenever i wanted to so it's like a win-win but it's also like i said it's a lose-lose so we're just gonna see how it plays out and i feel like there's gonna be so much other things that i want to say but i just can't think properly right now because one it's been a while since i had a camera in my face and two i'm a little sick and it's a little cold out here but yeah. I would give you guys a house tour. I would give you guys a room tour once I get everything unpacked and settled in and everything like that. Because it's been two days, but like I said, I've been sick. So I haven't really been doing anything crazy like that. Um, I'll show you guys my neighborhood. Well, not my neighborhood, but I'll show you guys my house, my room. And here's so far, here's what you can see in the house. So it doesn't feel like home yet, you know, but I'm sure it will because my family's around me and I just have to adjust to it. It's a new environment. You know, I moved so many times growing up. Uh, I think 12 times. That's how many times I moved all my life, including California and including back here. So I'm used to it. I adjust. I adapt pretty well, I think. So, you know, 
it is what it is. You know, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm, I want to go into depth with you guys. I'm being honest. I was just doing things that, that wasn't me. I wanted to get back to who I was. I wanted to be happy again, you know. Even though I was happy out there and I was like, yeah, I'm in California. I can work. I can do all this stuff. I really wasn't that happy. I felt alone. I was in a dark place. You know, I would go to bed late, wake up late, you know. It's just... It wasn't me, you know, nothing against that, nothing against you sleeping late, nothing against you smoking weed, nothing against you drinking alcohol, nothing against any of that stuff, but it just, it wasn't me, and it was just putting me deeper and deeper into a hole, and I didn't want to be in that hole anymore. I'm sure some of you guys are going to think and comment that, oh, you couldn't handle it, oh, you couldn't handle living by yourself, or whatever, you know, that may be the case, I don't know, you know, I've proven that I can live out there, I've done it, you know, it wasn't that difficult, it was just stressful, but it wasn't that difficult, I could have maintained, I could have kept pushing, I could have kept doing that, but if, I was just afraid, man, I was afraid, I didn't like the way I looked in the mirror, I was becoming more insecure with my body, with the way I look, you know, I just... I didn't like it. I was like, no, I can't do it, man. I got to go home. I got to regroup. I got to get my mind right. I got to get my body right. I got to see my family. I got to be around my loved ones. I got to be around people that made me who I am today in the, in the place that made me who I am today. You know, my hometown, as much as I hate it, you know, home is home and home is where the heart is. So I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you guys are understanding. I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, will stick by my side no matter what. I'm excited for the new vlogs, like the more home-like vlogs. You know, my mom made some chili last night. <laughs> she was fire. Uh, my mom's gonna make some biscuits and gravy tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna save a whole bunch of money. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It feels good to be back home. Um, new neighborhood. It looked like the suburbs, but it's still in the hoods. I don't know how that. I don't. I don't know how it works out here. Like I said, I want to tell you guys more. I feel like I'm missing out on so much. You know. Um. I don't. I don't know. Like I said goodbye to all my friends. You know, Travis, Charles, all the homies out there. Uh, my barber, I said peace out to them. You know, relationships, if they work out, great. If not, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, it's just, uh, it's just a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff I'm trying to say, but I feel like I can't say it, you know, because I don't know what to say. I don't know what, what I'm thinking, you know? So what I'm going to do, if you guys want to leave me a comment, asking me questions, my arm hurts. I'm holding my big DSLR with my mic and this gorilla pod thingy, like some Casey Neistat shit so yeah what i'm gonna do if you guys want to leave a comment let me know or ask me any type of questions i'm gonna be responding to the comments for about a day or two so leave me comments i'll respond to them ask me questions or whatever i'm gonna do my best to respond if i can't re if i don't respond it means it won't let me you know sometimes i click on somebody and i try to respond but it don't give me the option to because i don't know google plus or whatever type of shit so yeah i love you guys um i'm back at home you know for short term i don't want to say i'm going to be here for a year or two because I don't know, you know, so we're going to see, I'm going to regroup, I'm going to get in shape, I'm going to take you guys on my fitness journey, I'm going to take you guys through my home, through my home, you know, through my life, through what I grew up in, through, I don't know, I feel like the vlogs are going to get better from here on out, because it's just going to be more personal, so it's going to be more home-like, I'm going to be comfortable, I'm going to be myself again, you know, so I'm excited for that, I love you guys, leave a comment, click that like button, if you've missed me, if you're ready for me to get back, make sure you smash that like button, um, yeah, back to main channel next Monday and back to a vlog. Hopefully, if not tomorrow, then maybe the next day. It just depends whenever I feel better. So please give me some time. Let me adjust to this weather too. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it was a beautiful drive. I drove through Arizona. I seen the sunrise with mountains and snow on them. I drove through the snow. I drove through the rain. I drove through the mountains. Um, my ears were popping a lot of the time. Um, I drove through uh, everything. I drove through downtown OKC. I seen a lot of thunder posters, which was like, take them down, but I, I mean, I couldn't do that. Um, I seen a lot of a lot of stuff. I seen downtown St. Louis, you know, <laughs> St. Louis. <laughs> I don't know. It was a good drive. It was fun. Um, it wasn't fun. Actually, I'm, I'm lying. I was alone and I was tired and I was just pushing it. And I was like, man, 29 hours of nonstop driving with two hours of sleep. You, you, you just, you, I was delusional. I didn't look good either. I, I was sick and I had pimples all over. And, you know, a couple of days I had to put a whole bunch of acne stuff on my face to help them go away. I was, I was a mess. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking with me. It means the world to me. You know, I'm doing so much for YouTube, so much for my career, so much just, I don't know, so much. I've already moved twice. I moved to California. I lived there nine months, came back here. You know, it's just, um, I do a lot, a lot of sacrifices, a lot of sleep deprivation. I do a lot of, uh, just a lot for this, you know, a lot for this platform. So, man, I love you guys so much, man. I really do. I love you guys so much. You know, 2015 was a great year. Uh, I gained close to uh 50,000 subscribers no I think it was 50 I gained close to 55,000 subscribers that year so 
it was great, man. It was it was a great year, and I'm excited to see where this year takes me. Uh, really excited to see where this year takes me, whether I'm at home or I travel back and forth from here to California or whatever. You know, I'm excited. I'm I'm really I really am excited. You know, um, yeah, I'm gonna miss the easy access of collaborations out there because I don't really have anybody here that that knows of YouTube. Nobody really does that around here. So I don't know. I'm gonna try to put my city on my back, man. I'm gonna try to uh, put Indiana on my back. I love you guys. Make sure you leave a comment. Like I said, I know I'm being really repetitive, meaning I'm repeating things. <laughs> um, just bear with me. You know, let me get back to the groove of things. Let me not be sick anymore. Let me get a haircut, um, which finding the barber is going to be great, too. Anybody got any, like, good clippers out? Yeah, I can probably find some downtown. I love you guys. Um, give me a couple days to regroup and to get back on track with uploading and vlogging and all that stuff. You guys are going to meet my friends that I've known for 10 plus years. You guys are going to meet uh, my mom, my dad, if he, if you're not smoking that ganja, <laughs> you guys are going to do all that stuff. So I love you. Thank you so much for sticking by my side. Do not leave me, please, because I will never leave you. All right. Remember to leave a comment. I'm going to respond to all your comments. I'm being repetitive. I love you guys. I will see you next time on my channel. I was about to say something like really, I was trying to say something like really outro-ish, like, you know, I don't know. It's cold as shit. I'm about to go play 2K and get better.